Surrender, Dietrich. Seekers will eventually find you, no matter where you go. Ha! If anyone's going to catch me, it won't be you. You will obey me. Hello, 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 everyone. Your Gibbs is here. And we have a treat for you today. We're going to play Labyrinth World 9 Lost Island. And uh, let's see here if it shows. Okay, so this is. These are the games by Domini. And man, this music is uh, rich. Um, definitely uh, one of my favorite series from them is Dark Romance. What else we got here? I mean, they've got some good stuff here. I think in general, you'll you'll be fine with any one of these uh, game series. But um, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. I want to say hello to all the folks from YouTube and Twitch that are hanging out with me today live. I swear to God, I turned this down. Okay, let's play. So we got casual, advanced, hardcore. Custom mode. A lot of great ways to tweak your gameplay. Breaking news. A series of cataclysmic events of unknown origin are taking place across the world. FEMA warns U.S. residents of seismic activity in the country and recommends not leaving the house. Would you like some interactive help? Yes, we would. We'll have special features only. Minyoon, I'm so happy that you're here with us today. I did see that you followed on Twitch uh, yesterday. Thank you so much. So we've got some cataclysmic things going on here. Who would be visiting me at this hour in such dangerous weather? Um... Domini Games is uh, known for their collectibles. We're going to have a whole bunch of stuff to pick up here. And their art style is quite uh, rich with the color palette they use. Let's go ahead and head over here. Hello, I'm Devona. Do you remember me? I took part in your Seekers initiation. Please let me in. I have something important to tell you. I'm sure glad to see a friendly face. Let's see what she has to report. Oh, I've locked myself in my house. Okay, uh... Oh, you're playing Halloween Chronicles? Yeah, I love the Domino Games music too. So... Animated task book gets in there and sits in its little corner. Love it. Simon's seeker number. Um, so we gotta like know our brother's badge. Boy. You're gonna spoil yourself with a hand spa? Cool, cool. Look for the Easter eggs, we shall do. So these are call outs to the previous games, because I recognize some of them. Labyrinths of the World 6, The Devil's Tower. I like how they put the number in that. That's. Not often the developers acknowledge the numbers. Find tokens in every scene to upgrade your greenhouse. Okay, well we have to collect 69 tokens, people. Do shout them out when you spot them. I, look at how they've just got them slightly animated. Wow, that is so nice. Labyrinths of the World 6. Labyrinths of the World 5. Lots of uh, cataclysmic uh, scenes here. That's kind of neat. Neat little uh, call out to their previous games or previous adventures for our character here. So half the lock is missing. So I have myself a door handle and cutters. Is that really going to be enough to get in here? No, it's not. Hmm. Let's see what's going on over here. 
Dun dun dun! This amulet helps me concentrate and find the solution to difficult problems. You forgot to record today's video? Oops. That's okay. Hi Raven, how are you doing? Sarah's here! I now have two out of three crystals! And we have our house key! Is that common to lock yourself in like this? Um, seems a little odd to me, but maybe it's a cultural thing, I don't know. Thank you. I have distressing news. The Seeker's Order has noticed that the Earth's crust recently started cracking. We haven't found an explanation for it, so we organized a special expedition. Kind of digging her outfit. Kind of digging her look. She looks like she's ready to kick butt. Your brother Simon joined us. He reported that he was successful, but then mysteriously disappeared. We must find him to learn what he found out. Here's his Seeker's badge that he left in the base. Seeker badge. Thank you, brother Simon. What is he up to? Uh oh. The cataclysms haven't stopped for a moment. You must find Simon and talk to him. Look for his teleportation artifact. It'll take you directly to him. Oh my gosh, the kitty cat! Where are you taking that kitty cat? Why do you have a kitty cat? Ooh, we've got some glitter. I guess we're gonna have to do that first. Do you wanna find objects? Oh no, don't wanna find objects. Sure, let's play a little half coconut match three. Ooh, I love the sound effect as you roll over these things. Nice. Uh, this is fine, like I'm perfectly happy when developers include this as a secondary option. Uh, it allows uh, people that want to play the adventure game and maybe aren't necessarily, you know, a big uh, fan of the hidden object scenes, they can still play it. It's kind of cool. I like it. Uh, obviously, from my perspective, like, there's nothing wrong with playing the game like this. Uh, Always carry a gyroscope, a compass, or a GPS in case you get lost. Be very careful. Even the sparkle of your ring can help a predator find you. This is what I was going to say. The problem is, is when they have story-driven hidden object scenes. So, uh, wow. This is a lovely... The Seeker's help is needed on Earth and beyond. Traveling through portals is fast, but dangerous due to the magnetic field and high pressure. This, uh, I like when they do this. Um, like, you know, the traditional hidden object scene would just be like a series of 16 words. But when they have uh, story-driven hidden object scenes, I like that. That's pretty cool. It's a jar of green goo. Oh, it's fireflies. <laughs> I thought it was green goo. Turn on the light. These fireflies have sure brightened up the room. Now to locate Simon's artifact. So I have this badge. That should help us with this uh, puzzle, right? Um, so I do, do like nine. Let's see if this works. Nine and five. I got to do this twice. Got it. Six and two. Bingo! The uh, Domini Games is known for what you just saw there, the transition. Uh, the They animate the transitions between the main and the kind of uh, secondary scenes. At first I, I found a little unnerving, but I really enjoy that they go through that extra effort. And you'll see it next time, I'll point it out, but they animate the transition between a puzzle back to the scene. It's kind of clever. Seeker Nuts. Of course we have Seeker Nuts. 
Dear Margaret, if I ever get lost, use this artifact to find my location. Be careful, you can only use it once. Simon! Yeah, that's right. The uh, fireflies are cheaper than LED lighting. Look at them all. They're awesome. Okay, so I've got mass crystals, nuts, and damage portal artifact plus cutters. Fireflies are everywhere. So, now what? Still not ready to get in there. Hmm. We need to find a way to locate Simon. Look for his transportation artifact. Hurry, he might be in danger. I do have it, but it's damaged, so... It's missing a block. Uh, for Christmas, I actually bought myself a uh, Rubik's Cube. <laughs> I know it's kind of random, but... I don't know, I just was like, I want a Rubik's Cube. The crystal's on the mast. Thank you, thank you. Oh! Sarah, thank you so much for the sub on All Twitch. All seekers must die. Dude, that sounded like James Earl Jones there for a second. Uh, thank you so much, Sarah, for the uh, sub on Twitch. I appreciate that. We have James Earl Jones or something. Darth Vader's in the game. So we now have ourselves some beautiful climbing gloves and a damage portal that's going to get fixed. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Did I solve the cube already? The um, only thing we know about Simon's location is that he's on Earth. Try narrowing down the search area. So, uh... I bought the Rubik's Cube, but I'm afraid to mix it up. Because it comes solved, right? When you buy a Rubik's Cube. Um, so I kind of just left it. I've played around with it and then put it back. I'm afraid to uh, mess it up. I'm not Justin Bieber. I can't just solve those Rubik's Cubes like uh, it's nobody's business here. Now, let's see here. It's kind of interesting looking uh, puzzle here. Uh, one thing that uh, Domini Games has is the easy versus the hard settings. That's kind of cool. So, what does this mean? Oh, I see. So we're basically trying to put them on top. So yeah, this actually is kind of easy, but you know what? It's early in the game, so I don't see the need to... We haven't had to rotate these at all. Oh. So this one's gonna need a little bit. like he's somewhere near Puerto Rico, Florida, and Bermuda. It's the mysterious Bermuda Triangle. You must go there and investigate. I'll return to the Seeker's base for help. No, don't go. Join us on the adventure. I need the cat. And you too, I guess. Uh, generally, I can solve one side of a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> I don't know if... Uh, I think they're hard, are they not? No seekers could find the heart of Earth's energy, but you managed to do it. Now, Simon, you will help me get the hearts of all the other worlds. Let's go. Oh no, the cat is not with us, I know. Yes, Catherine, uh, <laughs> peeling stickers off is classic, right? Um, <laughs> or popping the parts out, that's kind of funny. Oh, we're wrecking the place. Look at this here, wow. There is a lot going on. Whoa, Sarah with the Prime sub. Wow, thank you so much, Sarah. I appreciate that. Thank you. Your generosity is amazing. Yeah, we got a little mind control here. 
Who doesn't like nautical electrical domes? Now I can find my bearings to this in this mysterious place. The dude is Count Olaf? Sure. Wait, Count Olaf. Wh who's Count Olaf? Find all the missing articles about the dangerous criminal Dietrich. The glowing... This indicator glows when there's one in your location. Wanted, Dietrich. Accused of embezzling the property from the underwater world heart keeper Sundra. Sindra? He was last seen in Electric Eel